Hey, PPP, Patrick, tell us a bit more about this Easter hymn you wrote. Yeah, Patrick, tell us. Uh, okay, well, uh, I wrote both the text and the tune for a hymn called He's Risen. Could you hum a few bars of this legendary composition for us, Patrick? Yeah, Patrick, give us the iTunes sample. Okay, well, uh, it goes like this. He's risen, he's risen, Christ Jesus today. That's Clementine, Patrick. What? Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You just ripped off the tune to America's most famous satirical folk song and employed it as an ode to our Lord's resurrection. Come on, Patrick. I did? You abducted it like the Philistines absconding with the Ark of the Covenant. Purloined it like Ahab and Jezebel pilfering Naboth's vineyard. Swiped it like David stealing Uriah's wife. Poached it like Coldplay plagiarizing the pancreas out of Joe Satriani. Okay, there are like five people who get that reference. Look, Patrick, the point is your 1849 Gold Rush-inspired melody is, in fact, terrible. All right, sorry, but what's the big deal? I mean, if the tune is really that bad, nobody will sing it, right? Oh, for Patrick's sake, Patrick. It's no secret that Missouri Synod Lutherans are easily persuaded to jettison their precious doctrine, but will fight to the death to retain the theologically indifferent vestiges of their more glorious past. So you above all people should know that Missouri Synod Lutherans would have no problem flippantly murdering Article 14 of the Augsburg Confession in Synodical Resolutions, for example, but would slavishly spend 500 years singing a Mention hymns to the tune of Wake Me Up Before You Go Go if you, the first president of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, were the one who wrote them. Yeah, good to know your constituency, Patrick. Man, you guys are mean. But whatever, I won't let you ruin this joyous day of our Lord's resurrection. In fact, I'm going to celebrate right now by singing my favorite Easter hymn. The 16th century composition, With High Delight, Let Us Unite. And how does that one go, Patrick? With high delight, let us unite. That's Police Academy, Patrick. Okay, Patrick, I think we got off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, let's mend some fences, Patrick. First of all, let us say that your writings on church and ministry have been an invaluable asset to the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Fantastic work there, Patrick. Well, thank you. And your lectures on law and gospel are among the greatest homiletical resources the world has ever seen. Brilliant stuff, that, Patrick. Well, that's very kind of you to say. However, your face does look like the Grim Reaper had a baby with Humpty Dumpty. Oh yeah, no, that's true. I am an incredibly unattractive person. <laughs> 